I'm Monster Mike, and this is Bronco Garage. With the fix-it list I created in episode 4, we are ready to dive headfirst into Huck and install some new parts. Parts Huck sorely needs to be enjoyable on and off-road. First on the list is adding caster to the front end. I actually went and got an alignment printout from our good friends at Rocky Top Customs, so I knew what I was starting with. Huck has zero caster. No wonder it's all over the road. Okay, so Huck has a ultimate suspension system from James Duff on it currently. It's three and a half inches of lift with 33 inches of tires. Now, this lift came with eight shocks, two per corner, and it also came with hoops in the front. Now you can still get this lift system from James Duff. However, there is a lot of things that have changed in the last 10 years when this system was first installed, and you can definitely make things ride a lot better. Now, in order to cure the drivability and the handling issues that this Bronco has, we went ahead and installed the T-Rex arm from James Duff. And this is a great piece because it offers an additional four and a quarter degrees of caster built into what they call this head unit. This is a game changer and uh, definitely is going to help this Bronco track down the road nice and straight. Also, the great benefits to this arm is that it gives you back that tight turning radius that Broncos are known for. It also is a bolt-on product, no welding, and it's no slouch off-road either. Now, you can check out the video card above on how to install these. I will say this, uh, instead of using the lubrication in that video, I would recommend using the dielectric grease. Uh, this is great for uh, preventing Bronco lean and uh, it's definitely going to be a better product overall. Let's go ahead and check out the steering. Now that I've got more caster in the front end and my tight turning radius is back, I wanna get an alignment and get Huck back on the road, but I really don't want to go get an alignment twice, and I also don't wanna keep running the stock 51-year-old steering linkage or track bar. This is the best time to install a few more parts that'll be far stronger than stock and dial in the front end 100%. I'm going to install a hassle-free heavy-duty track bar and a dual-sport Heim steer setup from our good friends at James Duff. These parts are easy to install and your alignment shop will thank you for making their job easier while giving you a near-perfect alignment. Check out the video card above on the installation of these parts. We took a closer look at the back brakes and discovered the shoe adjusters were installed backwards. This is actually very easy to do and a common oops. Hopefully that was all the brakes needed to start working better. I'm going to retest and if that doesn't give me better results when panic braking, I'm going to swap out those old hard tires next. I am so excited to say bye bye to the old dual exhaust setup, but I'm still going to keep the Duffy long tube headers. I tell people all the time, unless you just can't avoid it, stay away from your local exhaust shop. Most exhaust shops just want to get the pipes hung and get it sounding good. They typically do not factor in that a Bronco needs to be able to go off-road without getting hung up on the exhaust. We also don't want to smell the exhaust while driving or have it kick up a bunch of dust. The James Duff dual exhaust system has thought of everything and you can install it in your garage or even your driveway with basic hand tools. Not only that, but James Duff also gives you options when purchasing the exhaust to make sure you have everything you need during installation. Check out how clean and tight this is. I chose the low cost aluminized dual exhaust kit with MagnaFlow mufflers, but they also offer this kit in stainless and mandrel bent. Staying true to my vision for Huck, it is time to ditch the off-road tube bumper. I want Huck to be a classic resto mod that is capable on and off-road, which means I need to put the stock bumper back on the rear so it matches the front. I also have the challenge of wanting to carry a full-size spare that can easily weigh 80 to 100 pounds. The heavy-duty stock bumper tire carrier from James Duff works perfect for my needs. Plus, it comes with the option of adding a receiver and it is 100% bolt-on. For those of you that already have a stock bumper, 
You won't need to buy a new bumper like I did. Check out how good that looks. Notice there's a place behind the tire to secure a high lift jack. Plus, James Duff uses stainless parts in all the areas that make metal to metal contact to prevent parts from rusting and the tire carrier locks out of the way to keep it off the tailgate or so you don't have to fight gravity. All right, that's a wrap for now. We made some decent headway on Huck, and before we can go any further, it is time to take Huck to the alignment shop, and then for a test drive. I can't wait to see how much of a difference these parts make. Just being able to safely drive Huck and inspire confidence behind the wheel is going to be a game changer. With this new exhaust installed, Huck will also be more enjoyable at any speed on or off-road as well. Looking forward to seeing you guys at the next episode where we see just how much of a difference these parts make. Check out the description below for links to all the parts and the install videos for them. Hey, thanks for joining us. Make sure to like and subscribe and check us out on social media as well. Look forward to seeing you guys in the next one.